The world is controlled by a simple system of imposition and then obeying the imposition. And that process allows a tiny few people to impose their will on billions of people. This cult has no power. Its only power is in people obeying what it says they should do. So if you if you look at um, the world and countries, the same structure as a pyramid, a hierarchical pyramid, and at the top of the pyramid, you've got the inner core of this cult, which is very few in number. Like I say, you'll get them in a single room if you go to the core of the core. And they impose their agenda upon the next level of the pyramid. And they acquiesce, they obey that imposition and impose it on the next level, which also obeys and imposes it on the next level. Now, very soon after you come down from that inner core, you're meeting levels of the human hierarchy that have no idea there even is a cult. They don't know they're serving a cult agenda for human control on a global scale. They're just doing what the perceived superior level is telling them to do. And and so you come down the pyramid with this um, system of imposition, obeying, imposition, obeying, imposition, obeying, until you come down to to the bottom of the pyramid where the billions are. And if we, as a human race, as a human society, acquiesce, at that level, to that level of the hierarchy that's imposing uh, the cult agenda on us, which is governments, government agencies, law enforcement, then we complete a circuit between the few at the top of the pyramid, the inner core of the cult, and the mass of the human population. And that circuit completed means that the will of the tiny few at the top has now been imposed upon the billions in the human uh, in the human population and and if people want solutions well i'm not looking for solutions i'm looking for the cause of the problem because if i can re- if we can uh remove the cause of the problem the problem must go away and that the the, um, the 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 cause is humanity in vast numbers conceding its self respect in the sense of authority says do something so you do it okay hold on a minute you want me to do this okay why do you want me to do this and i'm not just going to accept that by the way i'm going to check out what the background is and whether what you're telling me to do is justified and actually why what you're telling me to do you're telling me to do what what what's the real reason you're telling me to do that and and if people just had the self respect to do that and more and more are now, um, they would realize that actually the reason that people are told to do things is not the real reason at all. It's to create a a, a situation of total human control. Mm -hmm. Um, And and so if 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 people come out of the German parliament or out of Downey Street or out of the White House and they say, we've decided this is going to happen, if enough people in the population say we're not doing that, we're not doing it. Where's the power? They have no power. You you take all the people um, uh, knowingly in the cult pushing this. You take all the people in government, politics, etc., corporations, uh, uh, and all the rest of it, uh, education, everything, who have no clue um, that... Um, there is a cult, but they just do as they're told uh, and impose it on the rest of the population, that agenda. You take all that number, you, take, you add law enforcement to that, you add the military to that, and you're still looking at a tiny, tiny proportion of human society. And if, if enough of the rest say we're not doing it, then it's over. They have no power. Exactly. Their power is actually in persuading us to give them our power, which they then recycle uh, uh, back against us in the form of control. Well, you see, I have a different perspective because I've been trying to um, alert people to this for 31 years. 
And I remember what it was like 31 years ago, 25 years ago, 20 years ago, 15 years ago, trying to um, alert people to the fact that this is going on and this agenda is leading to where it's got now and beyond. Um, and so I'm looking at um, uh, times when no one wanted to know about this. And I'm looking now at fantastic numbers of people by comparison around the world who've realized actually this is really happening. As the, uh, as the months have passed and lie after lie has proved to be lie after lie, as promise after promise, do this and we'll go back to normal and you then don't go back to normal. And they say, do this and we'll go back to normal and they don't go back to normal. People have um, realized that slowly, but ever quicker, that actually there's a gigantic global scam going on here. And it's taken time to, to generate uh, not just the, um, the realization of what's happening and what's behind it, but also the organizational side of it to um, to bring people together. But it's happening. It's happening. Um, uh, obviously, people would like it to happen quicker. But like I say, because I've been doing this for 31 years, I don't have the same perspective as people who who are new to this and say, why aren't people waking up quicker? I'm thinking you should have been me 30 years ago. All the way through this period. So these things play out that the cult has orchestrated. But the context of them wasn't known. But now um, what's happening is uh, they um, have had to put themselves on public display. But the others who just do what they're told without question, they're not going to bring it to an end. Uh, it's, the, it's the people that can see it that are going to bring it to an end. And that's why they're turning their eye on, on those people um, in every way they possibly can. Because they know that that's that's the only potential area to bring this to an end, um, and um, you know the the, uh, the gift of being able to see what others cannot see uh, comes with responsibility, and it's the responsibility of those who can see not to cooperate and not to concede, not to obey um, that which is seeking to um, is seeking to destroy us really. Uh, and co completely change the nature of human society. I hope you enjoyed today's segment. Here is a takeaway from today's video. In today's segment, David Icke said that the cult has no power. Its power is only in people obeying what it says they should do. What the cult want is to have complete control through controlling information people receive and ultimately control people's perceptions. David Icke said that when you control the perception of a population, you control the nature of human society because perception dictates behavior. But David Icke said that it is very hard to control a population of critical free thinker and questioning people. People who don't just take information direct to conclusion. People who pause and process the information so that they can reach their own unique conclusion. Therefore, always remember that you are the creator of your own reality and that you have the power to exist beyond and outside the system. I hope you enjoyed today's segment. Leave a comment in the comment section about what you think about today's video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.